Okay, we're given the graph of a line, a linear function. Our goal is to find the values for M and for B for this line. So when we're referring to that M and B, we're thinking slope intercept form, which is Y equals MX plus B. M is gonna be the slope and B is gonna be the Y intercept. So let's first calculate the slope. The slope, I like to use the rise over run definition of slope. As you can see over here on the right-hand side, you could use this other definition, but let's just make it into a counting problem using rise over run. So first you wanna identify some points that you're really confident are gonna be on our graph. I'll just pick a few out here that look to me like they're definitely crossing at those points. You could make these in ordered pairs, like I said, and go y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, but I like doing just a counting problem with rise over run. I'm gonna start with the first one that I identified, negative six, five. Now the rise component is you wanna count how do I get from the point that I start with to this next point? So it looks to me like if I count it, I'm going down one, two, three, four, five units. So down five and to the right, one, two, three. All right, so our slope can be computed as rise over run. The rise component was a five and the run component was a three. However, because we were going down, we think of that as being negative. If we were going up in our counting, we think of it as being positive. And the run component to the right's positive and to the left would be negative. Okay, there's nothing important about me starting at that first very top left point and counting over the other direction. If I had started at the uh, negative three, zero and counted up one, two, three, four, five, that would be positive five because we were going up. And then to the left, one, two, three, that'd be a negative three for our denominator, the run component, because we were going to the left. All right, equivalent, whether it's positive five over negative three or negative five over positive three. Those mean the same thing. All right, next up, our y-intercept. That's the B component for this. The y-intercept, hopefully we can locate here, it's gonna be the point that's on our y-axis. So we could say B is negative five. Now it wasn't asked for it on this one, but we could find the equation of this line really easily because we've done all the hard work. We found the slope and we found the y-intercept. So the equation of this line would be y equals negative five thirds x plus a negative five or minus five at the end is equivalent to adding negative five for our B. All right, hope this helps out as you're trying to um, gain some information from these graphs and understand linear equations. Good luck.